YouTubers, man, do I have an article for you guys. Bad news for Metro Vancouver home buyers as prices climb. So this is all a speculative article. I read it. It's somewhat speculative. I mean, the proof behind it is very... I don't know. You guys be the judge. You tell me below. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. The latest report from realty organization Royal Page offers a grim news to anyone hoping to buy a home in Vancouver area. There is, no, there is now reason to believe that the market correction underway in Vancouver may be short-lived, said Rolla Page CEO Phil Silver. The principal uh, victims of the BC government foreign uh, buyer tax were Canadians who had planned to sell or buy a home and were frightened away with unsustained uns rhetoric in the Chinese that the Chinese were entirely to blame for Vancouver's housing shortage. According to the reports, the price of home in Greater Vancouver climbed 12.3% year over year and 1.2 million in the first three months in tw uh, of 2017. But what about the 20,000 or 29,000 empty homes? How does that correspond? Like, so you're telling me that Canadian people, Canadian people that work nine to five and then that work from seven to nine and then work from 12 to four in the morning, sleep for two hours, have empty homes. 20,000 of them have empty homes. Whiplash effect. Soper says the natural correction was on the way last summer, just as the foreign home buyers tax was introduced at what calls the heavy handed regulatory intervention, suddenly slow demand, but has now caused a whiplash effect resulting in higher prices. Vancouver house prices are up compared to the first quarter of 2016, yet this doesn't tell the complete story, continued Soper. For weeks now, we have witnessed a steady fall in real estate values in the lower mainland, with sales activities down some 40% compared to recent norms. Hmm, okay. I guess that's the other side of the coin. The reality is that much... Uh, that as much as 90% of the housing activity that disappeared overnight in the lower mainland after tax was introduced was from Canadian residents, not foreign investor. Home buyers are waking up to this reality and may be ready to rush back into the market. Um, okay, so no one's commenting here. I, I don't see anything here about the 20 or 30,000 empty homes, and that's not including the condominiums that are empty. You know, and the empty homes in Coquitlam, the empty homes in, um, in in Burnaby, the empty homes that are scattered. Uh, if you see the article I wrote for you guys, uh, not wrote, the article I read for you guys about empty homes um, reaching out the suburbs of Vancouver, uh, outside of Vancouver. Yeah, that's been, it's big, it's big, tens of thousands in every city. But the problem is, why would the Canadian proper work three jobs and leave a vacant home? Why won't they just rent it out to help to help aid the mortgage? According to this, according to this article, according to reality company Royal Page, recent correction in housing market may be coming to an end. Vancouver, and I've been saying this since day one, three years now, Vancouver will become a ghost city. Go ahead and laugh at me. Make fun of me. Call me a retard. It will become a ghost city. I left. My whole family, we left. We're living in Merritt. I bought an 11 bedroom house for 260 grand. Watch my Living the Dream series in a cul-de-sac on an acre of land. Watch my Living the Dream series and see what I bought for 260,000. The people that used to comment before on my page below say, a house needs to be at least 600,000 because it costs 500,000 to build. Bull, 20 grand in lumber, you build a house. And that's all cheap lumber, too. That's not even the lumber that they used to use back in the 80s and 70s, 80s, and 90s. Anyways, guys, I'm not going to get worked up on this. I want to know what you guys affect. Um, uh, I'm reading effect there. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what you guys feel about this. Um, is this something just to get the um, the people that invested feeling better? You know, I'm not, I'm not blaming uh, foreign investors. Because foreign investors come from everywhere and they keep blaming the Chinese so, majority of it is from China. A lot of people are parking their money, but there's a lot of people from Saudi Arabia that are parking their money in Vancouver. Okay? In Vancouver, in, in Alberta, a lot of people from Saudi Arabia. Quite a few people, like wealthy people that left Iraq in the last 10 years, 
uh, moving into these cities too. There's a lot of people from all over the world. So it's like just pointing at the Chinese. There's other other cultures out there. I know India. India is huge. You know what I'm saying? India is 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 is, a, is there's a huge percentage of immigrants in Australia and New Zealand that are from India too. So the blame has to be kind of more blanketed and 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 fair across the board, right? Because investors come from all over the world. I'm an investor. Well, I'm an investor. I invested in a company. I'm from Portugal, but I didn't invest in property. I invested in a business, so it, it's different, right? But I still invested. I'm a foreign investor. So is my wife. She's from Philippines, and she owns part of my company. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below, and um, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose sleep over this one. I want to know what you guys think. I just want to fight for for housing for people like you know that's what i've been doing for the last three or four years and that's what i've been trying to create awareness get these videos out there grab a camera make videos tell your friends this is the hottest topic in the world this is the best topic to talk about because it's affecting this generation the millennials the next generation the centennials and the generation after the mtv generation they're all gonna be choked. Let me know what you guys think, come below.